Atia. Atia, I'm John Price. Welcome hi, John. to Instigator Ranch. Hi, hi, Lissons, Kanani, and Mo. Nice to meet you. Mo. My name is John Price and I own a company called Instigator Ranch and Hatchery, and we raise alligators, release alligators into the wild to help increase the population, and we do tours. We're going to give them a chance to become familiar with alligators. I think the alligator's a really cool animal, and yeah. people don't know as much about them as, as maybe they should. I want them to really learn how to be safe and be respectful of them. All right, so, well, let's do it. Yeah. So John started out the twins with some small gators and explained if they ran into something that small that it would probably be safe to move them out of the way. First of all, you want to go right down the center of the back. And if you do that, that alligator doesn't even know I'm here. So I can reach and grab the alligator, and I've got him by the neck. And if his mouth wasn't taped, he couldn't do a thing to me. You're supporting them well, and you've got control of them. Hey, go ahead, if you will, grab a neck. You pick one out. It's like picking, like picking out a watermelon. You'll notice some of them have gone underwater. They're sh more shy, mm -hmm. less likely to try to bite you. You might find an alligator who's sitting high in the water, and that's one that's going to be more aggressive. Try to get this one, Mo. This was the one that was being brave. <laughs> this is a brave one. Very good. One thing I should mention that I didn't mention before: you never want to grab the tail and then approach to the body. So if you're touching that tail and holding it as a base, he can bite you. So working with the small gators was fun and maybe too much fun for the twins because I can imagine them wanting one as a pet. If y'all are comfortable with this, we can uh, move on from here and, and move to the bigger ones. So John decided to raise the stakes and took us over to meet an older and larger gator. I guess I should start with the dangerous places associated mm -hmm. with this alligator. You definitely want to stay out of his reach. They don't generally run forward and attack. At some point, they've got to open their mouth. And when they open their mouth, you disappear. <laughs> because their mouth... Oh, they can't see. They can't see. They just... They're not an intelligent animal. Their brain is smaller than their eyeball. You hear that? Spend a, <laughs> I didn't mean to don't criticize listen, don't you. Listen to 